Are you looking to start creating your own worksheets or sheet music for your music students? I made this worksheet in under 10 minutes and it turned out looking beautiful and my students have really enjoyed using it too. Today I'll show you how to create amazing looking sheet music and worksheets for your music students using Canva. First, we'll look at how you can use Canva to really add something special to the sheet music that you're looking to hand your students to play. Then I'll show you how to use Canva to make fantastic looking music worksheets for your music students. Let's first look at how you can use Canva to really bring the look of your sheet music up to the next level by adding borders, fonts, graphics, anything you might want. All right, so here we are on a free music notation website called noteflight.com and I've opened just a short little song that I've composed here that I might want to hand to one of my younger students. And I've also gone ahead and added in the lyrics here on the, my notation site or software. Um, and you can add the lyrics in, in Canva once we get there, but it's much easier to do it on whatever notation software that you're using. So I highly recommend doing that. So what I'm going to do now that I have this open is notice that I have not written the title or subtitle or composer or I've left all of those things blank because we're going to add them in Canva. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to save my song as a PDF, which you should be able to do on whatever notation software that you're using. All right, now here we are on canva.com. And just as a note, I use Canva Pro and I highly recommend that you do the same if you're interested in continuing to make your own resources for your students in the future because it just gives you access to many features that aren't available in the free version. So in order to kind of add some pizzazz to the song that we've just saved, come over here to click create a design and then we're going to import the file that I just saved from NoteFlight. We're going to open that and then it should pop up down here under designs once it kind of converts that into canva so we're going to click on that so if you want to you can make this bigger or smaller depending on what you're looking for i'm going to move mine down a little bit just because i like the look of that better all right now this is something that i might want to hand to a younger student so i just want to kind of add some flair to it I'm gonna add a title using one of their fonts here. So I'm gonna click add a heading. I went over here to the side and said text, and then I clicked add a heading. And this song is called Spider, we'll call it. Okay, so it looks good. You can even change the color of your font if you want it to look more like a fall theme like this one is. All right, and then I might want to also, since it's for a younger student or maybe for anyone, you might want to add a graphic, like a fun um, picture over here. So I'm going to type in cider and see what comes up. And I kind of like this one. So I'm going to use this one and shrink it down a little bit and then drag it up here over to the side. And I can zoom out and you can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to shrink this just a little bit center it same thing with the picture and then one last thing that i might want to add is something to do with copyright so i'm just going to add in case i decide to put this for sale somewhere or give it to another teacher i'm just going to add my name down here so music with megan and i'm going to just stretch it out like this, shrink it a little bit so it's not too distracting. And I'm just gonna put this at the bottom of my page and I'm actually gonna add all rights reserved. And stretch it back out and so forth. Okay, and then you can search under elements, you can search for a copyright sign and I like this one so I'm going to just shrink it down to fit and there we go and then we're going to come over here in order to print it right, so we're going to come up here to click download and I'm going to download it as a PDF 
And there it is over here. You can open it up and see what it's gonna look like once you print it. Next, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to make amazing music worksheets for your students. All right, here we are on canva.com and we're gonna look at how to make music worksheets. So let's come up here to create a design and go ahead and just type in if you don't see it, worksheet and click on that. So we have just a blank page and I'm gonna just show you how to, let's do for our example today, let's do a name the note exercise. You can use Canva for plenty of other music activity exercises as well. But just for today, let's go ahead and look at how you can create music notation for your name the note exercise on Canva. All right, so what I usually like to do is I come over to elements and then we're going to search for line. All right, so this one, just choose the plain one. And then we're gonna We're gonna shrink this one down to a lighter weight. So you come up here to the top, click line weight, and then shrink it down to about a one. And then you can go ahead and just copy and paste that line until there are five. I'm trying to get them as evenly spaced as I can. To do that better, you can kind of just zoom in and see what it looks like up close. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna now add a clef, okay? So I'm gonna search treble clef or treble clef. <laughs> All right, and shrink it down to fit on your staff that you've just made. All right, so now instead of doing all of that again, I'm going to just copy. I'm going to highlight, drag, highlight all of the that those things that I just added and click control C and then control V and it copies all of it. And now what you can do if you want to change clefts, you can just unselect it and then just erase the treble clef and there's the bass clef right there. So you can search for it if you need to, but there's the base clef that we're looking for for our other ones. All right, so now that we have treble and bass, I'm gonna kind of just copy and paste a few different ones of those. And then just depending on how many you want to do, that's kind of a lot of bass clef. So I'm going to come up here and highlight treble clef again, control C and then control V to paste all of that. And now I just want to add my notes. So I'm going to come over here to elements and I'm going to search for quarter note. shrink it down. And then once you have it to the right size, you can copy and paste. So it's you don't have to resize it every time. And then when you need to flip the direction of the stem, what you can do is um, come up here to flip, flip horizontal and then flip vertical and then it will be in the right direction if you want to do it that way. All right, so I, for the answers, I'm just gonna add an additional line down here where students can kind of write in their answers. So something like that, copy and paste again. Last one. All right, I think I wanna center these more, so I'm just gonna drag them down here a little bit. And I might wanna add a border. So how I like to add my borders to my worksheets is just by doing lines. So there are kind of pre-made borders, but this way I think it's just easy to 
do it this way and get it exactly the size that you want. So I'm going to shrink the line weight again. <laughs> and then I'm just going to copy and paste, sorry, copy and paste that same one for the bottom. Zoom out here a little bit. All right, and then for the side, we're going to flip it around. So use this twirly key here to 90 degrees and then drag it over to the side. And like I said, there are pre-made borders as well. But I always tend to like to do it like this just because that way it can be the exact size that I want. Trim those edges a little bit. All right, so for my instructions, I'm gonna come over here to text and click one of my fonts here. So I can kind of increase it a little bit and I'm gonna say, name the note. All right, so there's that. And I always kind of like to add something a little bit fun. So since I teach piano, um, we'll do that one. And then you can also change the color of it. So I don't really like those colors too much, but I can change them to whatever colors that I, that I like. <laughs> All right, so. And there we have our name the note exercise. Really simple. And like I said, there are plenty of other music activities that you can make on Canva. But this is um, a way that I like to do it. If you do not want to um, actually make the staff yourself with using the lines and changing the line weight, you can actually just upload um, an image of a staff if that's better for you. So I'm coming over here to folders and I have a folder called music symbols and there's a staff already made and I can kind of just shrink it down to the size that I want. If you wanna do it that way, you can. Sometimes it's just hard to get the notes to fit exactly right on the pre-saved image of the staff. So that's why I um, am able to change the spacing better when I make the lines myself. But if you want to do it that way, it's definitely a good option to do as well. All right, and then we're just going to save it. So we're going to come over here up to the top to this download button, and then we're going to select save file as a PDF and download it. All right, there it goes. And there's our worksheet. Hope you found this helpful. And there you have your two quick wins for how you can use Canva to create amazing sheet music and worksheets for your music students. I hope that this was helpful to you and remember that the more that you use Canva, the quicker it will go. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to learn about more ways that you can continue to level up your music teaching business. If this was helpful, let me know and give it a like. See you in my next video.